Manipur, like many other states in the northeast, um, has got uh, very clear ethnic lines. In, in some ways, it's, it, it, it's a bit like Africa. And one of the big mistakes that Biren Singh uh, did earlier this year was to walk out of the tripartite agreement unilaterally. And the Kuki uh, government employees have all gone back to the hills because the Kukis were originally the uh, inhabitants of the hills. The Meite uh, government officials have all come back to the plains. So, so it's just completely split. And uh, like all other instances of violence in the northeast, it's, it's very difficult to reach peace, but it's uh, very, very easy to you know, let things spiral out of control. And that's exactly what seems to have happened. The important thing here is to understand that someone has to be accountable for all this and, and uh, the uh, people who are accountable for this, uh, who, who are really responsible for this, are the state government. It, it's now uh, two months uh, since the first incidents of violence uh, happened, that was on May 3rd, um, but it was building up for quite some time before that. Manipur, like many other states in the northeast, um, has got uh, very clear ethnic lines. And um, in, in some ways, it's, it, it, it's a bit like Africa. Right? The big problem in Africa, for instance, uh, was that, uh, or the reason why Africa saw as many civil wars and continues to see as many civil wars as it does is because all the borders are straight lines. The borders are straight lines because that's how the colonial powers uh, split the countries between themselves. But when they did that, uh, part of an ethnic group or a tribe went to one country, what became one country and the other part became another country. And when the colonial powers left um, and these countries became independent, these ethnic groups wanted to come together. So. You know, there was civil war. They, they wanted to merge, they wanted to demerge, they wanted to do all kinds of things. And, and um, the Northeast doesn't have straight lines as borders. Uh, that's not what I meant. But, you know, in terms of um, the ethnic grouping, uh, there is a significant similarity. And um, the battle lines or, you know, the divisions between these ethnic groups are deep. And, and they go back generations. So, so the good thing is when you get peace in the Northeast, you should do everything in your powers um, to ensure that that peace is retained. Um, there was a tripartite agreement that was signed between the militant groups, between uh, the state government and the central government. And one of the big mistakes that Biren Singh uh, did earlier this year was to walk out of the tripartite agreement unilaterally. Um, uh, and uh, the second uh, mistake that I think his government did uh, was to launch uh, a survey of forests um, purportedly to evict uh, people who had occupied parts of the forest and were indulging in the drug trade who were supposedly growing poppy. Uh, not all of this is backed by evidence. Um, this was seen as a, by the Kukis, who were one of the ethnic uh, tribes of the region, ethnic groups of the region, as, as targeting them. And um, so, th so there was a certain degree of distrust. It had just built up the fact that uh, the government exited, the, the state government exited the tripartite agreement, uh, didn't really go down well. And then came the court judgment. It basically gave the Métis, uh, who are the dominant uh, group in uh, the state, um, it suggested or it recommended that the state government write to the center asking that they be included in the uh, scheduled tribe population, immediately created a furrow with the other tribes, which is the Kukis, and, and, and things have gone rapidly downhill from there. Uh, everything there is now defined by whether you're a Métis or a Kuki, uh, what um, uh, it, it's completely polarized. The police force is polarized. The administration is polarized. The government service is polarized. And the Kuki uh, government employees have all gone back to the hills because the Kukis were originally the 
uh, inhabitants of the hills, the Meite uh, government officials have all come back to the plains. So, so it's just completely split. And um, like all other instances of violence in the northeast, it's, it's very difficult to reach peace, but it's uh, very, very easy to you know, let things spiral out of control. And that's exactly what seems to have happened. The important thing here is to understand that someone has to be accountable for all this and, and uh, the uh, people who are accountable for this, uh, who, who are really responsible for this are the state government. Um, so while it is important to uh, target the militant groups because violence can't be the solution to anything at all, especially not in this century, not in this day and age, uh, it is equally important to hold the people responsible for this to account. And uh, it's very, very clear now that uh, uh, the chief minister uh, has lost the confidence as at least of at least one significant uh, population in a state. Uh, uh, so it probably making a change might be the first step towards achieving normalcy in Manipur, which anyway is going to take a significant period of time. Uh, in many ways, this is a cautionary tale for any state government in the Northeast. I mean, it's, it's a very, very uh, fragile uh, region um, on account of the indigenous populations that occupy it. These are people who are very conscious of the fact that uh, they do not, or let me put it another way, they do not want uh, their culture to be uh, completely subsumed um, when, when they become integrated with the rest of the country uh, like they are increasingly becoming. And, and so they are very, very insistent on a certain degree of autonomy in some cases. Uh, they are very, very particular about some practices in other cases and, and it's important to acknowledge that. Um, which brings me to another topic which I just want to mention because we are going to discuss it perhaps in a later episode. Uh, which is another area where the Uniform Civil Code uh, that has been increasingly spoken about over the last week. The Prime Minister spoke about it, following which everyone else also weighed in. Uh, before that, the Law Commission had uh, uh, said that it would look at that. Uh, this is another uh, factor that uh, one should keep in mind when one is uh, desirous of moving towards a UCC.